Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, you might know that I listen to most of my music off of cassettes. But, of course, they're a very old format, a uh, magnetic format, and the tape is starting to degrade on a lot of older cassettes, and that is exactly what has happened to this one. It sounds really, really bad. So, uh, it basically can't be used for music. I could use it for dictation, but I don't need to record my voice. I'm, I'm kind of, like, doing that on my camera right now. So I thought we might as well disassemble it. Now, this is definitely a lower-end cassette. It is normal-type tape. Uh, you know, pretty standard cassette. Nothing exceptional about it. But these actually have screws, and a lot of cassettes do not. There we go. Yeah, a lot of cassettes are at the age where the magnetic tape is starting to degrade, so you get a very muffled sound out of them, like like you're listening to a loudspeaker underwater, or through five mattresses, which is definitely not a desirable sound. Kind of like how, uh, you know, a lot of floppy disks are starting to degrade as well. Oh wow, no plastic snaps, that just came right off. So, there is a lot of tape in these. It's a 60 minute cassette. 281 and a half feet, apparently, is how much tape is in one of these. So yeah, that's... That's a little... That's like, I don't know, 80 yards, just off the top of my head. So there's a lot of tape in one of these. Let's see. It's starting to fall apart. Now this is the stuff that actually presses the tape onto the head. I'm going to take that out for now. now. I'm just going to take our reels out. Now, it looks like a solid chunk of tape. Now it looks just like a solid chunk. But that is layers and layers of tape right there. Oh, it's already starting to fall apart. So my plan is to just get most of the tape off and then make like a uselessly short cassette so I can fit like one meme sound effect on a cassette. I'm gonna make like a one second tape. I'm not even gonna make it a loop tape. That might be fun to do in the future, make a loop tape. I've never done that. Uh, it's probably a bad idea to put it on my wrist, because now I'm going to have to unwind all of that. I'm having too much fun. I just left it on my floor while I walked through the house, which was decently far, and uh, just dragged this behind me. And I, so here's the, here's the reel. It's still like half full, and uh, if your tape is not sealed in its box, then that metal coating is obviously exposed to air and starts to oxidize. So that's why you get degradation of magnetic media. And again, that's not just cassette tapes, that's like, you know, VHS tapes, floppy disks, any sort of magnetic media. Hard drives will, of course, eventually oxidize and break as we have seen but usually that's more down to a mechanical failure. Alright, here we go. This is the tape we're going to be working with, uh, and this is the tape we're not going to be working with. It's hard to show on camera, but this is a massive ball. Also, on a tape, there's this thing called a leader. It's this uh, clear plastic part that doesn't have any magnetic coating. I'm going to be not using a leader. Okay. So, to detach the other end of the tape from the reel, uh, I popped out this little plastic section, and it looks like I broke it, but I actually didn't. That just comes out. So I guess it's going to have a leader on one reel and no leader on the other. <sighs> just not thought about that. I'm sorry for the poor lighting, it's probably a bit hard to see, but I'm going to put the end of this tape on this other reel. 
So I'm going to use two fingers around the edge to hold it in place, and then snap the little plastic piece over it. Alright, that's not the worst I've seen. And this is going to be maybe like five-ish minutes, judging from the length of tape. Could easily be used as a computer tape to store programs for a, say, a like a Commodore 64, etc. If you're complaining about loading times in the Commodore 64 days, a lot of games didn't come on floppy disk. They came on cassette, and the cassette would play a series of of bleeps and bloops that uh, the computer would interpret as what to load from where. So that's how you loaded your program. You played an audio cassette full of awful noises for about like five minutes, and uh, then your game would be loaded. We have a short audio cassette now. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. It's so short. If I see a single comment that says that's what she said, you get banned from the channel. Banned. Epic. That's so epic. We made a tiny audio cassette. Uh, what am I going to use this for? That's a great question. I'm going to play it in my tape deck uh, in like 30 minutes when, ironically, the tape that I'm currently recording that's 45 minutes instead of 45 seconds uh, finishes up recording because, again, I record my music onto cassettes to listen to it and people think I'm really weird for it. With my genius galaxy brain, I thought, why don't I just rewind it to the other end and then remove the leader from the other end as well? So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's the plastic piece. So I take that out. Then I'm just gonna confiscate this tape and then splice it right at the end of the previous splice where the leader was added. There we go. So that's like maybe 10 seconds of tape that I just removed. But again, that's the leader. It doesn't actually have audio on it. It doesn't have a magnetic coating. All right, it'll be a copyright violation if I play this for too long. But uh, there was already music recorded on this tape, so uh, I, I fast-forwarded to the middle of it. You can probably hear just from that clip how uh, staticky and distorted it sounded. Some of that might be from my fingerprints, but... You know, that's why I fast-forwarded to the middle, so that hopefully I would be on a section of tape that my grubby little Cheeto Dust fingers hadn't touched, because I really don't want to get that on the head of my nice tape deck. But uh, I played it all the way through in a less nice deck, and it was about five minutes per side. So uh, yeah, we got a ten-minute cassette here, and it's, again, it's leaderless. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching, uh, subscribe, turn on notifications if you enjoyed and want to support the channel. Let me know, leave a comment if you want to see more like audio related videos, and that's it, see you next time.